Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Well, hello and welcome back to the channel, everybody. In today's video, we have a, well, very new frauditor. In fact, at this point, his channel is barely two weeks old. But he still shows all the traits that a normal frauditor would show, being a bully and even calling his channel Good Citizen. Oh boy, how original, dude. I mean, could you think of anything else that wasn't so, well, common? But at any rate, we find ourselves in Sedgwick County, Kansas, as this frauditor attempts to audit the local health department, but I guess he doesn't understand HIPAA laws, and he ends up getting himself trespassed for his trouble. So, let's go ahead and sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. Good morning from Wichita, Kansas, USA. It is January 8th, 2024, about 8 a.m., and we are here at the Sedgwick County Health Department about to do a First Amendment audit. I hope it goes well. We will see how it goes on this rainy day in Wichita. Well, if it goes anything like any every other uh, health department audit that I've seen, it won't go so well for you. In fact, I know it won't go so well for you because you end up getting trespassed from here. Because, you know, part of it, I'm sure, has to do with HIPAA laws? Have you ever heard of that? Probably not, because most frauditors seem to think that anything outside the Constitution is a myth. But let's carry on, shall we? Got their hours here. No pets allowed. Central County Health Department. Oh, that's some quality journalism right there. Frauditor, I mean, how would we know what the open hours were for this establishment without your insightful rhetoric? Oh, my goodness. Oh, here's something important right here. The client bill of rights for this place, which includes a privacy clause. Oh, gee, I wonder why, because could it be that uh, patients come in here and they don't want to be filmed what, for whatever reason, you know, for like having medical or mental issues? Many, many minutes later. Put that one back since there's only one left. Yeah. Pardon? I'm not here for an appointment. Okay, don't come with Oh, I don't need to come with you. Well, if you have no need for medical services, then what the hell is your point of being here? Because, well, HIPAA laws and everything like that. And if you don't believe me, just ask Taco Terry about the several times he's been trespassed from health facilities because he didn't think HIPAA applied to him. Oh, yeah, and I had to turn up the volume quite a bit on this video because... I could barely hear what anybody was saying. So, frauditors, at least invest in some better equipment. Uh, will you, please, if you're going to be doing these audits, just make sure you can hear everything that goes on afterward. Because, well, uh, nobody wants to uh, have to strain to hear anything on anybody's video. I don't need to leave. I can't hear you. Can you speak up? I don't need to go over there. Thank you. How you doing? Doing pretty good. Good. Um, what can we help you with today? I'm just uh, getting some pictures and video. Okay. Is there any reason that you're getting that picture and video here today? I'm collecting content for a story. Okay. <clears throat> we do have some patient confidentiality issues here. Okay. So I'm HIPAA. To, I'm yeah. familiar. So I'm going to have to ask you to stop recording and... Uh, if you'd like to discuss, we can go into a at one of the conference rooms and have a discussion. I don't need to go into um, a private room. I other than that, don't. I will politely ask you to leave. Otherwise, I I will probably be calling further enforcement to. Uh, this help is us a out public here. building, right? <laughs> yes, but this okay. is also a health building. Right. And so, so it's your responsibility through HIPAA to keep. Well, it's my patient. It's, it's, my information responsibility to keep our patients private, here. right? Oh yeah, that is their responsibility to make sure that the information and patients are safe within this building. 
And, uh, well, that basically means part of that job is keeping the riffraff out of there. Riffraff like you who want to step on everybody else's rights. So, for auditors, please drop that lame-ass argument because it's uh, old, tired, and uh, quite debunkable a lot of times because, oh, the oldness is on you to uh, protect the information. Yeah, and that's exactly what they're doing. Feeling like they are safe. I understand that. Am I a threat with a camera? Well, Can I possibly. get your name? Yeah, my name is Corey. Corey, and is what is your manager? title? What? I'm, I'm one of the managers here. Okay, and your name? My name is I can't hear you. My name is Christy. Christy, and what's your title? I'm a supervisor here. Supervisor, okay. Yeah, just, we like to keep our, our clientele here to where they feel safe okay. being here because. Was there a complaint? Yes, my. Not recording me, and I don't feel welcome to you recording me, so you need to stop okay. before I myself take it upon myself and call the cops on you. Well, if you need to call the cops, you're more than welcome okay, to. I will. Okay, and I will. Sure, because you shouldn't be recording me. Okay. Do you see? You see what I mean? They don't give a shit about the HIPAA laws or anything like that. All, all they care about is, uh, well, being the big bad bully on the block that will uh, stomp on anybody who defies them. Well, Sonny Boy, you're about to find out the hard way that, well, HIPAA laws do apply to everybody. And, uh, well, you are about to get trespassed because trespassing law, too. Because they have asked you to leave several times already. Oh, and guess what? This Kansas statute right here specifically mentions health care facilities. In addition to the fact that the Tenth Amendment is also in full effect, you are pretty much, well, definitely in the wrong here. So congratulations, uh, good citizen. You are a fucking moron. So he really I don't need to leave. Okay, and why is that? Uncomfortable, and why is it? Why am I safe? You can make them fear for their safety because you are infringing on their privacy. Uh, there should be no expectation of privacy in public. This is a public building, right? This is a medical facility, but it's a it's a public building. It's the Sedgwick County Health Department, right? Well, this video is almost an hour long, and uh, he's going to go through this cir circular reasoning time and time again. But we're not going to watch all that. We're just going to watch some of the more uh, despicable highlights of this uh, idiot in action. And then we're going to uh, go straight to where the cops show up and remove his sorry freaking ass. A little longer than a few minutes later. I know exactly what dispatch is going to tell her. I mean, we have a, you don't have a right. I absolutely. The First Amendment right gives me the freedom of press. I'm an independent journalist getting content for a story. Yes, I know who you are okay. and what you're doing. Then why would you even get in the way of the camera? I would have been and out of here in 10 you minutes. You fucking record me, that's why. As long as you don't touch me. Don't touch me. I have not touched you, nor will I touch you. I am allowed to stand in your way. No, well, she wants to talk. I'm not going to stop her from talking. Question for Auditor. How is this fighting for anybody's freedom, considering that, well, you appear to be trying to violate this uh, patient's rights right here, because she is in a medical facility trying to get help and yet you are pretty much well acting like a freaking moronic scumbag trying to stomp on everybody else's rights which brings me to another point about frauditors what does your criminal record look like i mean i would seriously like to know what yours looks like because are you like any of the other frauditors where you have an extensive criminal record that led you to this point in your life? Because inquiring minds want to know. But let's just go ahead and fast forward to the next point where he tries to get a FOIA done. Oh boy, yeah, he's learned from the worst of the worst, hasn't he? Five minutes later. I'd like to go ahead and put in a Freedom of uh, Information Act 
for the health department, please. You don't have any right to the public medical records? No, but I do have right to the uh, people who work here, titles, positions, and salaries. Those are all online. Yeah. Well, I, but I can do it in writing. So you I'd like to go ahead and put it in. What's your name? My name is Blake Stroll. Blake, good to meet you. Yes. Everything that we have up here is to protect the Absolutely. And I'm not going I'm not going anywhere beyond where it says restricted. Um, everywhere in here is a public area. That's true. So I'm sure you know why I'm here. I have no idea. Oh, okay. Look at our signs. Well yeah, so I'm I'm yeah. So actually this emoji drug code, I've never seen that before. Um, but I've already went ahead and brought everything I need as far as that. I just need to do a FOIA request. Okay. Well, we don't process those. No, but. I believe that would be the federal government. No, that would be the county. Okay. Yeah. Well, it would not be our, yeah. our building. You would have to request that from you, yeah, the you health department. It. So I can go ahead and put it in here and then you guys would forward it over to your FOIA officer, whoever that is. I mean, if. I can do it at any branch. If you're speaking about our county counselor's office. Sure. Right. So you can go online and print off the form for me. I can fill it out here, give it to you, and then you can forward it over to them. You have, you have a phone. I know I have a phone. I can also do it in person. So while I'm here taking documentation of the of the material you have up in the lobby, I'd also like to go ahead and take care of the FOIA request. For information Well, they spend the next twenty minutes arguing about FOIA requests and everything like that. He even tries to film the computers that the secretaries are on uh, that might have uh, confidential information on them. I mean, this guy is a complete, well, utter bully, douche canoe, and everything you want to describe him as. So let's go ahead and uh, skip to the part where the police actually show up because it is a long wait. Five hours later. That's where <laughs> well, yeah. There you go. There's the sign. That door is supposed to be closed. Hello, sir. Who is he? He's an asshole, sir. I know that. What's his name? That is his name, sir. Asshole. Major asshole. Hi, how you doing? Good, how are you doing? I'm good. Can I get your name and badge number, please? Oh, sure. 2516. Awesome. Sir? Salmarano 1783. All right, I'm glad I didn't leave. Can I talk to you over here? Uh, I'm you good right here. That's fine. Yeah, I'm good over here. Are your body cams on? Yes, sir. Do you have one on? Yes. Okay. So what's going on? I'm just taking some picture and video. Okay. Yeah. Did they ask you to leave? Um, they did. Okay. Who's the employer here? Which one? You guys want to trespass? Okay. Yes. So trespassing. Sir, you are not welcome to return. Is this a public building? She can trespass you from the building if she wants to. You can't be trespassed from public. She can trespass you. You can't be trespassed from public. You're you going to open yourself up to civil yeah. liability and... You can film all you want. I, do. Outside. Outside. I can absolutely film in here. Oh, you dipshit dumbass. You can absolutely be trespassed from a public building. I mean, you really need to stop listening to those uh, other dumbass frauditors who think that they know the law and are YouTube law experts, but they don't do the simplest bit of research at all to discover that they're nothing but a bunch of freaking morons. But let's just go ahead and skip on down the road to when uh, he actually does get removed from the building because that's still at least another 15 minutes uh, into the video. So let's roll that beautiful bean footage. Three hours later. Can you move it along? I'm all out of time cards. Right, are you Michael? Good, yeah. Okay, we're going to go outside and have a conversation, okay? But can we just have it right here? No. Why not? Because you've been asked to leave. Okay, so am I being trespassed under threat of arrest? Yes. Can I get your name and badge number? Deputy Norton D1940. Okay, that's all I needed. Thank you very much. Okay, we're going to go outside and have a conversation. You're not free to leave. Uh, am I being detained? Yes. Actually, really? What crime have I committed? Well, they asked you to leave and you didn't, so I'm investigating this as a trespass. Okay. Seven traffic six. I'm going to be out front here. I need your driver's license or any ID that you have. And if I refuse? Then I'll arrest you for obstruction. Is that right? And I'll be taken to county? Yes. Okay. Under threat of arrest, you're going to seize, because I do not consent to a search and seizure of my property. You don't have to. So you're forcing me? Yes. Okay. Oh, 
Oh, Frauditor, they really called your bluff right there. Oh, I don't want to identify unless you're going to arrest me. Uh, yeah, we are going to arrest you. Many frauditors would have rather been arrested than uh, show their ID. Oh, boy, you really are a rookie, aren't you? Get that for you here. And, well, that's where the video ends, folks. I mean, uh, he was utterly defeated in this particular scenario because he actually showed himself giving his ID over to the police officer. Most frauditors, like I said, would rather go to jail than even show it to them, and even fewer still would show them actually handing it over. You are a true rookie through and through, and a complete an utter failure of a frauditor, and a total moron overall. So congratulations. Welcome to the club. You are a frauditing moron, and a bottom-of-the-barrel one at that. So at any rate, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and I will see you on the next one. Dude, so there's no way I can get in, bro? Come on, I'll put you on my YouTube. But shut up, Wesley. You gotta put signs up, ma'am, if it's- Are you Glenn Serio? Who's that?